Hello everybody! We are here today on a Sunday afternoon and we are going to talk about... Placenta art. Oh, placenta <laughs> art. That is so exciting. I wore all my colorful clothing just to make sure I, I actually just saw a bunch of IPs and the intended parents said, you know, Nathan, why are you wearing all these different colors? Is that what the colors of the placenta is? Not at all. Not at all. So no. let's clear that up. You know what? We're here with Kimmy and Kimmy's going to tell us all about the placenta first. What is the placenta? So it's the organ that forms in a pregnancy. It mm -hmm. nourishes baby, provides oxygen, nutrients. It's also the waste disposal unit. Okay. So every woman has a placenta at the end that can be used or... or... Uh, generally speaking, unless there is a, an infection or some other uh, medical issue, then yes, absolutely. A placenta can be used at the end of pregnancy. Nice. We have some viewers tuning in. How are you guys doing? Please join us. Okay, so placenta for me, I'm going to tell you, sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> there is, is a that, Is that a normal reaction it, or? Yeah, I think it's about half and half. Some people do have an ick factor with it. Um, however, I think once they see the final result of the artwork, okay. um, that's kind of bypassed. Okay, so in 10 minutes, I'm going to be um, completely convinced <laughs> to have some placenta art done. So why don't we start off with placenta art in terms of how did you discover that and why would you do what you do now? So I was traveling through BC, uh, the West Kootenays to be specific, and I happened upon an art gathering. And there was a lady there who was doing placenta uh, artwork as well as other forms of birth art. And it just captured my imagination. Okay. So taking back, placenta art with you specifically, do you do the art yourself? Do you do it with the person who's giving you the placenta or do you bring in the intended parents if it's a surrogate and do you just make the placenta art together? So there's uh, a couple of different ways. Um, generally speaking, um, most people allow me the creative freedom with some input maybe as to what they're looking for and, and hoping to see. Um, I have done uh, a group uh, project, um, so I have parents come in and they learn themselves what they're doing, what the various parts of the placenta are, what they can do with the umbilical cord. And then lastly, I've had some long distance um, clients who've requested information on how they can do it themselves at home. Oh, cool. So we're going to look at some artwork. And so uh, one question that was afforded to us was what kind of placenta art do you do? So I'm going to turn the camera over to you. Let's see. So there's a couple of different things that you can do with the placenta. Okay. Um, the first and most basic one is called a placenta print. So this is an example of what a print would look like. Um, this one in particular was done with paint. You can do it with um, using the natural, the amniotic fluid and blood. You can do a print that way. Uh, you can also um, use natural, so as an example, if the placenta is going to be encapsulated for consumption, um, you can use natural dyes like a blueberry, that type of thing to do a print. This one in particular was done with paint. Okay, you actually touched on something really key. You said something about placenta encapsulation. So does a person forego the opportunity to have placenta encapsulation if they do placenta art, for example? Absolutely not. As long as you're us using a dye that is safe for ingestion, you are good to go. Um, I don't do encapsulation myself. Uh, my wonderful doula friend Amber with Ella Crea Care does encapsulation. For sure. Um, and she has told me all about it and how important it is because a woman who does birth loses approximately a tenth of their um, body blood. So um, using the placenta to uh, replenish, it's full of, of essential fats and and yeah, it's, it's, it's a good way to go if you're not going to do art or on top of art. Okay. So is that a work in progress or is that almost? So this one is almost complete. In particular, I used blue and red. It was for a surrogate client. Okay. Um, and the family, um, the intended parents were from Israel. Uh, so I wanted to incorporate that blue. In particular, we're looking at adding some flags to it. Okay. Uh, and then a, um, like a coating over top to protect the paint as well. So what does someone do with that? Do they um, make greeting cards or something? Or? 
<laughs> some people do keep them uh, a keepsake kind of similar to um you know keeping your child's artwork in grade two that kind of thing mm -hmm. uh, they do keep it and squirrel it away um a lot of my clients though do um post it uh as a form whether it's in the nursery whether it's in an office in their home uh it's it's something that's a, a beautiful memento okay um Cool. Do you have another um, placenta art we could see? I do. There's a couple other prints here just to exemplify uh, more of the paint uh, print and artwork. Okay. Um, again, just uh, we had we attempted to go with a winter look here. Okay. <laughs> um, and then an autumn look. Um, but a lot of my clients also request digital work. Being digital done. work. Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, why is it this one? Why is this one in like love word or is that your artistic kind of like? Do you move the thing for you to see or? Yeah, you can, um, th these details are completed um, or done using the umbilical cord that's attached to the placenta. So I have written out, uh, as long as it's a short enough word, you can write out a love. I've managed to write out family before. Um, some people want a heart shape. Um, it, uh, sometimes we also do like a swirl pattern, um, mm. so it's it's really just um, up to the artist or okay. the parents. You talked a little bit about who would want this done. Is it, uh, yes, and one was a surrogate, but do these people, are they, are they young, are they older women, or? They're the same clients that hired doulas, so they're from all walks of life. Okay. I've even had grandparents request placenta prints be done as something for their own keepsake, and um, to showcase for, you know, friends and family who come over and want to discuss their grandchildren. Okay. So what else can you do with the placenta? That was one question. Um, so as we touched on, you can consume it. There's three different ways. There's encapsulation with a pill, uh, or in pill form, sorry. There's a tincture, and then there's also, um, you can use frozen chunks of placenta in a smoothie, if that's something that you're um, interested in. Um, is that I'm, for ingestion? Yes. When you're talking about smoothies? Yes. Okay. So, so for the, the actual person that gave birth or is it just for... Yes, it is okay. It is definitely for intended for mom. Okay. Too. We're definitely going to talk about that next month on placenta consumption, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Why is birth art popular? Again, I think it really comes down to just having that memento. Um, pregnancy and birth is such a huge life-changing journey and um, event, and it, it it really impacts families in numerous ways. So having the, these kind of things as, as a memento or a reminder, um, it, it's, it's very popular. Mm -hmm. um, again, you can, and different forms too, the print art, the digital art, the dehydrated umbilical cord art, there's all sorts of ways that you can uh, memorialize that event in your life. Okay. So let's show us a little bit of your um, digital art. Sure. Is this like many different Yeah, this is just uh, an example of a few different prints that I did. So what okay. I do after I do the initial print work on paper, I scan it into the computer and I start working with it digitally. So really this is just a combination of different apps and programs that I use to play with it. Um, as an example, this is the an example of um, the popular brelfi, um, the breastfeeding selfies that have gone around. Um, so I was I was asked to do it with the same stylization. So um, these ones are kind of rule out that ick factor you were talking about. So um, <laughs> you know, versus a blood print or something like that on your wall, this you can customize um, to really personalize it for you and your experience and family. Mm -hmm. Well. Um, maybe we could have, have you had anyone do the rainbow color or something? Absolutely. I had another surrogate client. Um, uh, she was uh, a surrogate mom for a gay couple and they did a placenta print in rainbow colors to memorialize that, that event. For oh, them. that's so wonderful for all those gay people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that is a nice, uh, way to kind of end or start our week, whatever you want to think. So. Walk me through this. Let's say I, well, maybe not me myself, but I'm a woman and I want to have placenta art done and I'm sitting in New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. What do they do to get their placenta art done? Do they just call you or? There is a number of ways. Absolutely, you can contact me uh, through my web website or through my Facebook page. Um, I have done long distance clients before. Uh, within reason, you have to make sure that you ship 
Uh, ship it like <laughs> this one. Yeah, ship your placenta in a container that's going to keep it. Uh, placenta, uh, do not use. <laughs> do not eat either before she does it. Absolutely, <laughs> and yeah, and and another option too for you is to. Uh, look online. There's some amazing videos out there, some amazing tutorials, and you can create your own art right at home. Hmm. Thank you so much. I think it's it's just nice to talk about this, even though it might sound a little bit icky or, or very different, at least for me, but um, finding ways to just memorialize these very important events for your... Um, for your, for your for your baby for exactly, your, exactly. <laughs> so I, I guess that's pretty much it if you have anything else to share or um I guess just the fact that um, there are so many different types of, of birth art out there and that includes classes and and just so many different things that you can do so even um, you know doing your own little Google search and and um, looking on YouTube, um, it really is, is mind blowing the amazing artwork that can come out of mm -hmm. something like a placenta. Exactly. So tell me, do you know a lot of people that do placenta art across Canada or are there like forums to share your placenta art? Or? Yeah, there, uh, there's actually a couple groups that I'm a part of, um, and it's birth workers from across the world who, sure. who We're gonna do, post that link later. yeah, who do focus on this type, type of artwork. Um, other than that, I haven't come across anyone yet, as far as I'm aware, who does this type of artwork here in Calgary. Um, but certainly within Canada, there are a number of other people who can provide this service. Okay. So if, if a person wants you to do that and they don't live in Calgary, they can still send you their placenta. Yes, absolutely. Um, provided that we have to find the appropriate way to ship it. Yeah, or uh, I can, I've even arranged a pickup. So for my rural clients mm -hmm. who are out of the city, uh, all it is is a nice road trip. Road trip or 1-800-DELIVER <laughs> placenta. Okay, I don't know why I just said that. It's going to get back to me. Okay, so awesome. Thank you so much, and you're just a true artist. Thank you so much, um, Kimmy, for joining us on Sunday. So let me just quickly plug some of our other Speaker Live series. Um, so we also have... Uh, Midwifery 101 on Friday with uh, Red Community Midwives. Uh, we also have a session later this month with a motivational speaker. We also have one with surrogacy versus adoption and all the like. So thank you so much for tuning in. Proud Fertility and... Rebel Mama's Birth Services. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> High five. Yeah. <laughs>